Go. Our second speaker is a mum to two, step mum to one, an avid community volunteer, dedicated spouse, and for the past 11 years, the editor in chief of Avenue Magazine. So she's been instrumental in many top 40 under 40s. Please welcome Kayla Lemon. As long as I don't get upstaged by Jeff's suspenders, I'm doing good. Uh, okay. When I was first invited to do this presentation, I immediately knew I wanted to do it on the danger of trusting our first impressions, based mostly on the fact that I have a total inability to accurately assess someone on a first impression. Um, the irony of calling for more lengthy consideration of people and ideas in the format of 20, 20 second slides was just an added and wonderful bonus. However, then this woman, Alana Kafex, decided to hold the Very Mommy Wine Fest in Toronto, an afternoon event where moms and babies would get together and the mom could have some glasses of wine. And the internet basically exploded on her head and said that is utterly irresponsible. Moms should never drink. <laughs> so I thought instead of first impressions, I'd talk a little bit about, about what it's like to be a particular type of mom these days. And that's the type who has enough privilege, education, and affluence to be able to make a whole lot of choices about child rearing and to receive a relentless barrage of criticism about even the most trivial and personal of those choices. For moms living in most parts of urban Canada today, once you've covered your kids' most basic needs, you have a huge assortment of choices. In fact, even some of the ways you can cover their basic needs are choices. Will you breastfeed? Will you bottle feed? If you bottle feed, is that breast milk? Is it formula? And while men are becoming more and more equal partners in parenting, most of the research shows that the bulk of the mental and emotional work of making parenting choices still falls to women, and so does the criticism that follows it. For each choice you make, somebody thinks it's not only the wrong choice, but that your choice endangers your child and demonstrates how uninformed, ignorant, and selfish you are. And they won't be afraid to tell you that to your face. You could call it open season on moms. So full disclosure, I am a mom. I'm talking about this story from the front line, so to speak. I'm a stepmom to an 18 year old, a mom to a five year old, and an almost two year old. Basically, I'm abusing this speaking invitation to show you photos of my kids. <laughs> yeah. So, here are some of the choices I've made as a mom. Uh, breastfeeding, co-sleeping, baby wearing, cloth diapers, vaccinations, baby led weaning, baby sign, no to curbarizing, but yes to the four day potty training method. Full time work for both parents, no nanny, except my mom, long story. Nonprofit daycare based on the Emilio Reggio model, community public school, after school care, homemade and organic, sometimes sugar, often screen time. Yes, sorry, sometimes. My partner and I live within a historical and socioeconomic context where all of these things are choices we're able to make. Because they're choices rather than things that we had no option on, at some level they're also an expression of who we believe ourselves to be as parents and who we want our kids to be when they hopefully become adults. <coughs> this means that those choices are also open for critique of the most personal kind about whether the people we say we want our kids to be are the people other people think they should be. At both the beginning and the end of the day, Parenting is the biggest social experiment you'll ever participate in, but it can and should also be fun. Despite the fire hose of criticism aimed at most moms, I am not going to tell you that being a mom, especially an educated, privileged, and affluent one, is that hard, or at least I don't think it has to be. I don't believe it's the hardest job in the world, and it's not even my hardest job. In fact, um, so being a magazine editor, I don't think is anybody's idea of the hardest job. Being a mom is a job that doesn't pay very well, but it is enormously rewarding. I think when we overstate the difficulty of parenting or present it as self-sacrifice rather than hugely meaningful and rewarding, we do a disservice to our kids, ourselves, and to society generally. The idea that it's really hard to be a mom and that moms sacrifice so much morphs too easily into parenting should be hard and being a mom should mean sacrifice and should not ever be fun. And I'm here to say, no, moms, you've got to fight for your rights to party. And in part, you do that by rejecting or ignoring the criticism of all your personal parenting choices. The critics of the Very Mommy Wine Fest raise concerns about whether moms should be drinking, given that some are breastfeeding and some might become pregnant again. Now, the Society of Obstetricians of Canada says low-level drinking is very unlikely to harm any infants who are breastfeeding. 
The comments about pregnancy, while theoretically scientifically valid, would apply to all women of childbearing age, not just moms. The underlying criticism here really is that moms should not be out having fun, they should be at home raising their kids. This is also part of the overall trend that wants to take risk assessment out of the hands of all parents and decide for them what's safe, and the answer is pretty much none of life is safe. <laughs> at some point in our attempt to take being a mom seriously, in other words, to not totally ignore the work of mothering which we had done for so long, we said because it's serious, everyone should feel justified in voicing their opinions about it, and furthermore, because being a mom is serious business, it cannot be fun. To be clear, I'm not talking about an increase in capital F family fun, the kind that's packaged and sold at forced togetherness events, and I'm not talking about moms trying to be friends with their kids instead of being their parents. But I do think that when we criticize moms about every single tiny choice they make, most of which are actually totally irrelevant to anyone outside of their family, <laughs> we make it a lot harder for being a mom to be fun. I'm talking about having the mental and emotional freedom to revel in the innate fun of spending a lot of time around people who look at the world in a totally different way. All of us need to give moms a break. Give them the space to practice some mom fun mindfulness. As moms, we need to blow off a lot of the criticism aimed at us and not take it to heart. We need to focus less on the seriousness and pain and serious lack of sleep and cost and tediousness of being a mom. Essentially, we all need to create the mental, emotional space free from criticism and fear um, of moms being able to, and give moms the space to be able to notice and enjoy the fact that kids are hilarious human beings. We need to embrace and celebrate more of the ridiculousness of being a mother, of being a parent, of being human beings. Because believe me, most of being a parent is about having tiny weirdos living in your house all the time. Children are mini slapstick comedians who at any given moment might put broccoli in their ears, wear dragon costumes, stand on their heads, and lick the floor. So calm down, have some very mommy wine, and enjoy the show because it's going on whether you notice it or not.